So far, only two witnesses have been on the stand. Both Ben Salem police officers and both had described what they first saw when they arrived at that trailer on Black Friday. Some telling a judge that they saw evidence of the crime scene trying to be cleaned up. Also, the description of what they say was a 13-year-old lying face down on the floor of the bathroom. At that point, Joshua Cooper, his lawyer told the judge, was feeling ill and needed the hearing to go to a recess. Shackled and in chains, Joshua Cooper arrives for his preliminary hearing. He and his family offered no comment before they went inside a courtroom. Cooper is charged with shooting a 13-year-old friend, a victim investigators have yet to publicly identify. It happened here inside this Ben Salem trailer on Black Friday. Joshua, what happened that afternoon? That afternoon, Cooper told police he was sorting and cleaning his father's gun locker, a locker he got into by removing the batteries to avoid a combination lock. In court documents, investigators say the victim was dropped off by a relative and she and Cooper had been watching TV. The first witnesses who took the stand were Ben Salem police officers, those who were first on scene. One told a judge he had been dispatched there after another team called 911 and said Joshua Cooper had killed someone. Police say Cooper took to Instagram chat and asked the unidentified teen for help in disposing of a body. Police say when they arrived, Cooper ran from the trailer and they discovered the scene was in the process of being cleaned. There was a strong odor of bleach and blood evidence, and the body of a 13-year-old was found in the bathroom. It's a complicated, evolving, and ever-changing case when you have juveniles of any sort. Defense lawyer Paul Lang would not say why the hearing was abruptly changed. Prior to asking for a break, he told the court Cooper was feeling ill then consulted with the family of the 17-year-old suspect before telling a judge his client now wished to waive his hearing. And when it's coupled with the decedent is my client's best friend, this is a challenging, challenging case that's still evolving. What happened? Now, Cooper here is charged as an adult. Prosecutors did not offer any comment as to why this hearing was abruptly moved or delayed. Uh, but we do know that Cooper will be back in court next week in Doylestown. Live in Ben Salem, Deanna Durante, NBC10 News.